Monel Mountain Biking and today I'm going to be showing you a product that I just purchased called the Quad Lock. This is a product that goes onto your iPhone or any other type of phone and locks into your bike or mo motorcycle. Uh, a lot of activities that you can do with it. Today I'm trying it on my mountain bike that you can see right there. I'm pushing this as hard as I can through the York Region Forest, making it bumpy, putting it to the test. And I've already been at it for about an hour, but before we get to all of that, let's get to unboxing and then I'll tell you just why I think this is a great product. Here are the three items I got, the case, the mount, and a poncho, which is a weather resistant item that you can use to throw over. This is the packaging it comes in. That's the, the main part, the case. And then you've got a selection of different mounts. This one, the out front mount pro. Uh, has a bit better visibility and I think it's a bit better build. You can see the different options if you go on their site and that was the poncho which I haven't tried yet but uh, I think it does what it says to do and that is keep out the moisture and inclement weather. So you can see it pops in pretty easily. It's a really nice looking case, really well built and I'm just going to keep it on my phone now because I like it a lot better than the case I had previously. And what you do for a mount here with the out front mount pro, it comes with two spacers of different sizes. I use the larger one on my frame here. And as I'll say later in the video, because of the tapered bars, you have to be sensitive to that. You have to be aware that the taper bar can make it slide. So try and put it on a part that isn't tapered. So here's what it looks like mounted on the bike. You can see this is the, they call it the pro version and it sticks out a little bit further. There's another version that comes in a bit closer. This one looked a little bit better for what I wanted. And you release and input it just like this. You push this down. All right, so you can see here, these four points of contact and here is where it's gonna lock in. So as you start putting it in, you wanna turn your phone just like an X, press that in, and then it just clicks in like that. Nice and sturdy. And if you can see underneath, this is what it looks like locked in. And I've been riding with this for about an hour now. And it's been really, really good. It hasn't come out at all. The only criticism I have, and this isn't Quadlock's fault, more my own, is that you can see on this particular bike, I have tapered bars. And so I put it with a larger, I think it's a 24 millimeter down here. And as I started to ride, I, it started to slide and with the tapered bar it became loose again so i could either tighten it up more or i could just bring it here to where it isn't tapered and that would probably hold it in fine but despite that um, it just happened once and i was able to just um, put it back in i'll tighten it back up and it shouldn't be a problem but overall uh, this product has been great i highly recommend it uh, and it's uh, served me well on the trails today and i've been trying to punish this as much as i can so there you have it all right, I'm moving on the bike. What I've done here is mashed up a series of clips that reflect the best test of how this Quadlock Pro system is holding up. Sit back, enjoy the ride, and you can see just why this product is highly recommended by me here at Big Iron Moto. Since this is primarily a dirt biking channel, I thought it would be important to point out that uh, there's no reason why this wouldn't hold up just as well on a dirt bike. I was pushing this pretty hard through these trails and hitting jumps and obviously you put your phone at risk riding like this, but I know a lot of people already do that with their phone, uh, especially if they're using it for GPS and this year, for those of you who are members of the Ontario Federation of Trail Riders, there is going to be uh, an app out that will map all the trails, the legal trails in Ontario, that this is something that would be very helpful for. So there's, I, I may very well end up putting this on my, my bars for some rides. I probably wouldn't want to throw it on the track or anything where I know I'm going to be crashing, not because the Quad Lock Pro won't hold up, but it, there's a good chance that my phone won't. So uh, I, I think this would be a great product for that, for dirt biking as well. And um, you could do a lot with it, GPS maps, Strava, whatever you want to do.
So there it is, the Quadlock Pro reviewed. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.